Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at parallel compression on a drum bus. Have you ever had that feeling where you've got your drums all mixed and balanced but there's just not quite enough, I don't know, oomph, energy, power, loudness in a way. It's just kind of lacking a little bit there. The temptation of course is just to turn the drum bus up um, and that will have the overall effect of increasing the amplitude of course but it doesn't necessarily give the impression of power and energy. Parallel compression on a drum bus can give you that effect. So how does it work? Well, we know how basic compression works. Any incoming signal which breaches the threshold is going to be subject to gain reduction defined by a ratio. The other thing to say about that is if you're applying quite heavy compression, you're going to lose some of the original characteristics of that sound. The sound is going to be subject to the artifacts inherent in that compressor. And if you're doing quite a lot of compression, those artifacts can be really quite pronounced. Parallel compression enables you to retain the original character of the sound, but just adding that kind of loudness, powerful, energetic quality to it. Let me give you a demonstration. So I've got a drum recording set up here. Um, I've done the panning, I've done a rough level balance. Let's take a little listen to how it sounds at the moment. Okay, all good, but what about if I wanted to make it sound a little bit more powerful, reduce the dynamic range a little bit, squash it a little bit? Obviously, one of the things that I can do is I can just put a compressor across the whole thing um, with some quite extreme settings. Um, look, I've got a low threshold there, um, quite a high ratio, and let's just switch this on and have a little listen to how this sounds. Okay, it's certainly more energetic, but now you can hear a lot of the artifacts that the compressor is adding to that signal. Not least of which is the sort of pumping and sucking effect when you listen to the overheads, for example, the ride cymbal, it just seems to be increasing and decreasing in level quite a lot. Now that might be the effect that you want, but if you wanted something to sound a little bit more natural, but still retaining that power, then this is where parallel compression can come in really handy. Let me show you how to do it. I'm just going to take that compressor off uh, my stereo output now. Here I've got my uh, drum mix, I've done the balance, I've done the panning, and at the moment everything's rooted to the stereo output. Basically what I want is a duplicate of all of this which I'm going to compress, and I'm going to add the compressed signal to the original. Now in Logic I find that the best way to do this is to use an auxiliary send, and send all of these drums to uh, a new auxiliary channel. Let's do that. Well, I'm going to just select all of those there like that. And then on auxiliary send, I'm going to go bus 32. Okay. Now these sends, they need to be post fade and they also need to be post pan as well, because we want the levels which I've set here and the panning to be reflected across this auxiliary channel. This auxiliary channel also needs to be stereo. So I need to click that little circle there. Channel mode, now it's in stereo. I'm just gonna rename this, drum bus. Comp. Okay, so let's just make sure all of these, um, so by default they're gonna be post fade, but I also need to select post pan as well. Okay, so they're now all post pan and I'm gonna just double click on the first one and set it to 0 dB. Right, so now that which is going from here being routed to my drum bus ought to sound exactly the same as all of these combined. So let's just solo the drum bus and have a listen. Okay, now if we listen to the original, it should sound exactly the same. So A, B in between the two, no difference. 
So all of the pan in there, all the, all the level is there because we've done this post fade, post pan send. Okay, cool. So what we're gonna do now is put uh, as an insert, a compressor across the drum bus. There we are. Now I find um, that what works really well for this is the vintage FET compressor. Uh, I mean, you can try out all of these different ones. The vintage FET thing, it has quite a fast attack and it sounds lovely and crunchy as well. If I just load up my preset that I've got for it. Um, so quite a low threshold, a high ratio. I've turned the makeup gain off. I've set quite a fast release as well. The tempo of the track is such that it's going to benefit from a fast release. So the compressor gets a chance to reset quickly for all of the uh, incoming signal. Um, now, again, these are quite extreme settings. I've squished seven shades of sherbet out of this. Have a listen. Okay, so it sounds pretty horrible. There's quite a lot of distortion. Going. It's compressed so much that it's actually distorting. I don't worry about that too much because we're not going to use much of that in the final signal. I'm just going to take that off solo, bring that down. Okay, so here's the original. And listen to what happens as I fade in this super compressed crunchy signal. started to increase the power and the energy and the apparent size of those drums but interestingly it doesn't have that much effect on headroom you're not eating into valuable headroom that's going to be needed for all the other sound sources on the track so we're just going to a b between the parallel compressed signal and without the parallel compressed signal so you'll get a chance to hear exactly how much effect this is having on the track so this is without the parallel compression Now, I haven't used that much of that parallel compressed signal in there. It's just enough to give it that sense of power. It hasn't compressed um, the high amplitude signals which are still coming through from the original drums. It's kind of like, they call it bottom up compression. It's like bottom up compression as opposed to top down compression. That's a whole other subject. But this enables you to preserve the original quality of the drums the louder parts masking, if, if you like, the super compressed signal. Um, but when the amplitude of that which is in the original um, decreases, it's kind of replaced in a way by this super compressed signal, which is where you get that sense of power and size. There we are, parallel compression on a drum bus. If this has been useful, please like and subscribe below, and I shall look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks very much.